Let's talk about how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. When adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators, what you need to do is get common denominators first. And once you do that, once you get the bottom numbers to be the same, then you can add the numerators or the top numbers. So let's begin. A quick way to find the common denominator is to multiply the two denominators. So seven times three is 21. I'm gonna multiply the first fraction using the denominator of the second, and I'm gonna multiply the second fraction using the denominator of the first. So I'm gonna multiply by seven over seven, which has a value of one, which does not change the value of this fraction. Now let's multiply across. Three times two is six. Three times seven is 21. Here we have one times seven, which is seven. 3 times 7 is 21. 6 plus 7 is 13. So the answer is going to be 13 over 21. Now let's move on to the next example. If we multiply the two denominators, 6 times 5, that will give us a common denominator of 30. So to get common denominators, I'm going to multiply the first fraction by 5 over 5 and the second fraction using the denominator of the first, which is going to be 6 over 6. So this is going to be 5 times 1, 5 times 6, 5 times 6 is 30. Here we have 3 times 6, which is 18, and 5 times 6, which is 30. So notice that we have the same denominator, which means now we can add the numerators of the two fractions. 5 plus 18 is 23, so we're going to get 23 over 30. Try these two problems. Instead of addition, we're going to use subtraction. 5 over 8 minus 3 over 7, and 8 over 9 minus 2 over 3. So feel free to pause the video and try those problems. So let's get common denominators. Let's multiply 8 and 7, so the common denominator will be 56. I'm going to multiply the first fraction using the denominator of the second. So I'm going to multiply by 7 over 7. And the second fraction, I'm going to use the, de the denominator of the first. So I'm going to multiply the second fraction by 8 over 8. And this will give me common denominators. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 8 is 56. 3 times 8 is 24. 7 times 8 is 56. So now we could subtract the numerators. 35 minus 24 is 11. So the answer is going to be 11 over 56. And it's good to see if you could simplify this fraction, but 11, we can't really break that down into any smaller numbers. So that's going to be the final answer. Now for the next one, a common denominator that we could use is 9 times 3, which is 27. But notice that 3 goes into 9. So 9 itself will be a common denominator for 9 and 3. So you could use 27 or you could use 9. You'll get the same answer. But if you use 27, because it's not the least common denominator, you'll have to simplify your answer. So I'm going to use the same pattern as we've been doing for the other three problems. Let's multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second. So that's 3 over 3. And let's multiply the second fraction using the denominator of the first. So 9 times 9. Now let's multiply across. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 9 is 27. Here we have 2 times 9, which is 18, and 3 times 9 is 27. 24 minus 18 is 6. So we get 6 over 27. 27 is a common denominator, but the least common denominator would have been 9, because 3 and 9 go into 9. So because we didn't use the least common denominator, we'll have to simplify this answer. And we could simplify it simply by dividing both numbers by 3, because both 6 and 27 are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that is going to be the final answer, 2 over 9. So that is how you can add and subtract fractions with 
unlike denominators. You need to make sure to get the common denominator. If you get the least common denominator, you won't have to simplify your final answer. But if you just get a general common denominator that is not the least common denominator or the you know, LCD, then you may have to simplify your final answer. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.